guys, it's Tim here. So today, fishing season's like just starting to take off here. So you're out perch fishing, pan fishing, walleye fishing. Can't remember remember how many are in the live well. This is gonna save you right here. So what you're gonna need is a length of paracord. You're gonna need some snaps, like uh, cover snaps. You could probably get them at a hardware store. I got mine at a craft store. This is what they look like, that's two parts. Mine came with a setting tool to install them. You'll need a length of ribbon, and uh, I like to use the nylon style ribbon and melt a hole in it. And then you need these craft beads right here. And these are, I don't know, you get them in bulk in all kinds of colors. So uh, you should be able to get them at any craft store or maybe even Walmart, I'd bet you. Obviously you probably need some scissors and you also want a little lighter of some sort to melt the end. So when you cut your, your paracord, you're gonna have these little strings inside. They call them the gut string. We're gonna pull all those out. I got one, I already did that. So here we go. And I've already melted the ends of this so that it does the sleeve here does not fray. Now you save one gut cord. And what that's gonna do is you're gonna fold over your paracord in half. And then you're gonna slide this gut cord in the other way till it's in half, like so. Okay? Now, I've already gone ahead and pretty much laid out my beads in the colors that I want. I'm gonna do this pink, and the, these things go on so easy, you just pull right on, and there it is, and it stays wherever. So that's how we're gonna count. I'll show you how this is gonna work. Okay, so this one's gonna be for my uh, buddy's little girl. She outfishes him, so she's gonna be the one that needs to keep track of how many fish she has. He can count them on one hand. So. Here we go. There's our five pink. That's four pink. Five pink right here. I can count, I promise you. You can hear my chickens in the back. The baby chicks are making some noise. I'm going to cut this right here because it's fraying off on me a little bit. I'm going to go with some fun glow in the dark. That way if you go out crappie fishing at night, you can easily see where you're at. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so you can see this goes pretty fast. We'll go to a light colored pink here. I guess I should ask what her favorite color was because it used to be pink at one point. Now it's probably camo. Okay, so just remember you can do any colors you want. Just make sure that you have, and you could actually do this in any amount that you want. If you normally catch four of something or whatever, you don't have to do 25 and fives like I am doing and dropping my piece here. There we go. Go back to a different green glow in the dark. I just think it's fun to have multiple colors, but if you like to do sports teams, you could do your favorite sports teams colors. You can pick your color paracord, whatever. Oh man, if I didn't have slippery fingers today, you'd have these all on there by now. Okay, here's our last color. I'm going with this white. And we'll have to go outside because I can't pound this. I shouldn't pound this on the kitchen counter or anything. I don't have a hard enough surface in the house. So there we go. So there's our, our 25 beads. 
now we're going to go outside and we're going to install this. What we're going to do with this is we're going to slide this over our loop end, just like so. And then this piece is going to go through. This piece is going to come through here. And then when we set this on our setting tool, like so, we'll pound it like that. Okay? I'll go do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've installed it. I was wrong. I had the wrong part the first time. This is the end and what it's going to look like. There's your snap. Okay? Now you can pull this thing up. Leave a little bit of room there. And then you come down, I don't know, as far as you'd like. Something about right there. That way you can just have enough distance to know that where you're at. So if I tighten that off like that, there's plenty of length here to count, count your beads. We'll cut this off right here. We'll use our lighter. And that melts our nylon. And you're done. Simple as that. If you want to count them up, you can count them up. If you want to count them down, you count them down. But this snap right here, so many boats have snaps already installed in them for covers. Up on the windshield, put this right there by your driver's seat. Pull them down. Got a fish, got a fish. Uh, my dad's boat actually has a spot right at the live well. He snaps his right there and he's set. So I hope this helps out somebody. And uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you next week.